Today, we are going to unbox the first new release for the 2022 Disney Cars Diecast Mainline. Some of you guys may already know what it is, and for others, it's going to be a surprise. But yes, indeed, in this very box is the first new car for 2022, for the main line at least. Obviously, we got some new stuff in the NASCAR line already, but yes, for the main line, this is it. It's here, two pack, 2022 Case L. They just kind of picked up right where 2021 left off for the alphabet. And yeah, that's kind of what they do for like deluxes and two packs because there aren't enough of them to really kind of take over the whole alphabet, unlike with the singles. Now, I got this from my usual supplier, Get Me Collectibles. I'll leave his contact info in the description below. So if you want to get a case yourself, you know, just email him or check out his eBay store for other stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited to get back to the case unboxings here on my channel because obviously over the last few days and weeks, we've been just reviewing the new stuff in the cases for the singles because Give Me Collectibles has not gotten in any of the singles cases yet, unfortunately. And that is all Mattel's fault. I don't know what they're doing, but hopefully he starts to get them in soon and maybe starting with case D, we can get back to singles unboxings on my channel as well. But for now, we're going to have to sell with this two-pack case. And it is hitting stores across the United States, Target stores. I'm not entirely sure where two-packs are being found internationally. And man, I am struggling here. This is embarrassing. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I actually just found some remnants of this case at my local Target today. There was like four left. You'll probably see it in the upcoming hunt episode, but the new release in here was not at the store, unfortunately. So I'm glad that I'm getting the case here. And we're just going to start left to right, I suppose. And first up is Flo and Ramon. Very nice presentation for this pack. Obviously, you know, a very classic two pack that we've seen time and time again, but they're now using Flo's Cars 3 artwork, which looks pretty good. And that is Ramon's Cars 1 artwork. Very nice. Obviously we've gotten these before from Thailand though, so it's nothing too special. On the card back here, you can see some of the other two packs that we will be seeing in this case. Everyone's using their old stock images. It's nice to see those retro piston cut racers on there as well. These are like the same stock images they've used pretty much since the beginning, the dawn of the Cars universe. Cool. Over here we have Dinoco Mia and Tia, another very common two pack, especially in recent years because they were released together for Blue Desert. And so they are now back. They should do a different Mia and Tia, like they should do the Chick Hicks ones or the gold ones because they did Waitress Me and Tia recently as well. They've done the Super Fam ones in that Target 11 pack as well. So lots of Me and Tia action lately. And here we have a slightly different card back that shows off the new release there. You guys probably already know what it is, but I'm trying to build it up, you know, I'm trying to make this a little more exciting because <laughs> the new release honestly is not the best thing in the world. Anyways, here you have Floyd Mulvihill and Krusty Rotor the Gasparin and Vinyl Toupee stock cars from the first Cars movie, respectively. This is probably the most desirable two-pack in the case because everyone loves Piston Cup Racers and everyone loves, loves the original Cars 1 stock cars. And these look great. It's their first time ever being released from Thailand, so that's another reason why they're so popular. And Krusty Road was actually super rare before this release. Now, he was also released in that same Target 11 pack as Superfan Me and Tia I just mentioned, and that is a Vietnam version of him. And so I will review this two pack in the coming days, and we will do a nice comparison of all of them. So look forward to that. And thankfully, they did include two of this pack, and that is probably why I found actually one of these today. This will be the soul that gets sacrificed to opened up. But yeah, I did find this one today, and it's probably because they... Include two of them in the case, which is nice. Good going, Mattel. They anticipated the popularity of that. 
And now here you have yet another recurring two pack. We've gotten this one a couple times now, at least once, you know, in the Blue Desert line in late 2019. You have Maddie McGear and Melissa Burnabrake. So that's Maddie and her mom. They should release her dad. I think her dad's pretty much the same model, but dark green. So they could easily just do Bob Burnabrake. Why not? Bob Burnabrake. Sounds good to me, Mattel. Hire me. Oh, we got a nice little card back here because it shows an upcoming two pack that's not in this case, and that's Patty and Taco. That would be Patty's first Thailand release. Taco was released last year. It's a nice little stock image there of Melissa because it's a prototype of her. You can see she doesn't have her rims painted and the eyebrows are a little funky. And there you have Chase Racelet and Cam Spinner. So the reason why this one's different is because it's like the Cars 3 card back, whereas the other ones we were just looking at were basically Cars 1 card backs. And here we have one of those, and that is Chase Racelet and Cam Spinner. Now, both of these were released from Thailand in the Blue Desert line, of course, and Cam Spinner before that, but they were not released in 2021, so it's kind of cool to see them back, and they look good in a two-pack. You know, the green and blue really contrast up there for a nice card presentation, and everyone loves Next Gens as well, so this is a cool pack in my opinion. Probably going to be one of the more popular ones as well. Up next, we have Race Official Tom and Lightning McQueen. And now right off the bat, you could tell that they're using the Cars 3 card art for Mr. McQueen there, which is inaccurate because they include the Cars 1 version. And obviously, Race Official Tom appears in the first Cars movie, and so you have to include the Cars 1 version of him. So that brings up a lot of questions. Question number one, they already released the Cars 1 McQueen in the singles. And that actually brings up yet another question because Ramon is getting a single release in case D of singles. So there's a lot of crossover between you know the two packs and the singles, which never used to happen. It was rare if a car was released in the singles and the two pack. I think the first time that happened was in like early 2017 with like the McQueen and Sally with Cone two pack. But anyways, yeah. Second thing I wanted to mention is that it gives us a look of what Cars 3 McQueen would look like on the 2022 Red Riders packaging. So that's kind of cool, right? But yeah, I didn't even know that they screwed this one up until I just unboxed it. But yeah, Race Official Tom looks good, but they have released this two-pack now a few times. Slightly different card back here as well. Yeah, it kind of stinks because, yeah, they've done that two-pack several times now. I know Blue Desert, and I think Race Official Tom was released, or no, yeah, I don't know, maybe he was released with Dexter Hoover the year before, and McQueen was released with Charlie Checker in the two-pack, because they like to, you know, mix up the characters like that, but they're all like Race Officials and McQueen kind of combinations. So yeah, there was two of that, unfortunately. But here we have a classic Radiator Springs Townie set, Sheriff and Sarge. They look solid. Like, I am happy with this pack. Kind of an odd combo. You know, you think Sarge, Sheriff, a little weird, but they did do this pack in 2014. Now, my issue with it, though, again, is the same thing. My same gripe. Sheriff has been released as a single, and Sarge is in case D with Ramon. So, I just don't really see why people would want to buy this. But then again, some places get two packs, some places don't. Some places get singles, other places don't. So maybe they're just kind of assuming that, you know, <laughs> we're going to distribute these cars horribly so that you'll never find those two in the same place. <laughs> maybe that's what they're going for. I'm just kidding. I'm not that mean to Mattel. And here you have the new release of the case, and that is Mater with a working tow hook. Yay, what we've all been wanting for years. Yes, okay, I will do a review on this because there's a little functionality that I want to talk about and the card art's really sweet. Now granted, this has been around for years, like this little image of McQueen being towed by Mater, but it's great, like I love to see it on a die cast now. It really is awesome. And there you have the new for 2022 logo along with the preview of how it works. Basically, McQueen has a hole that Mater's tow hook will slide into and he'll be able to tow 
McQueen around. Now this is not just any old Lightning McQueen. This is a road repair Lightning McQueen. And that is, that is a version of McQueen that was released first in 2015 and then again in 2017 in the early main line there. And so this is his first time being released from Thailand, which is pretty exciting. So another reason to review it. So definitely look out for that in the coming days, weeks. I wouldn't say weeks, because I do intend to review it pretty soon here. I just am going to review the Piston Cut Racers first. And last but not least, here you have Doc Hudson and Cruz and Lady McQueen. Now this is actually one of my favorites from the case, probably like my third, third favorite, because I just love the look of them together. Now granted, McQueen didn't really interact with Doc when he was in his cruise and paint job, which makes it a little weird, but I think they look great together. And it's really nice to see Doc again, even though he has been released a ton of times, but I always welcome him back. And Cruz and McQueen's a great one as well. He looks great from Thailand, one of the better Thailand releases because they made him like super metallic and added these bumper stickers, rightfully added them onto the back there to be accurate with the movie. And they did do two of them as well. All right. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which pack is your favorite. This is my favorite because I, you know, I'm on the bandwagon of the Piston Cut Racers and all that as well. But it will be nice to see how this, you know, works out. Obviously, the towing cables is bigger. The hook is thicker. So it's able to you know, grasp on the McQueen. And we'll talk about that and, you know, play around with it later. But yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. I will see you soon for another video. Bye now.